crafty friends well today's mixed media project is this glass I would say a decanter really wouldn't you and um, there's no top to it I think I got this um, when I went to Hornsey um, was it last year I went to Hornsey do you know I've lost track of time anyway I'm going to be creating a seaside theme with this jar uh, this um, decanter and I'm going to be using structure paste and um, some uh, cheesecloth I've got a pack of cheesecloth cheese yeah it is cheesecloth lint free I'm going to be using that I'm going to be using arty stones uh, starlight uh, paints and um, so I really uh, hope you enjoy the video and um, I'll turn you to overhead and we'll make a start shall we okay so the first thing I want to do I want to give this a coat of um, gesso and uh, I need to just find my gesso I had it but obviously I didn't I put it away not in there I hope it's in here just like that. okay so I'm going to be using cadence um, gesso and um, <clears throat> I'm going to stipple it on Because this will form the base of of the um, thingy. So I just want to show you what I've got. I've got um, this lighthouse, which I'm thinking, hmm, maybe not. I've got uh, lots of shells, all different styles and kinds of sort of little tinky ones as well, and. Um, got a light belt, some metallic embellishments, lots of different styles of shells and um, so it's going to be kind of like um, a seaside theme so I'll, I'll just kind of break it, <coughs> break it round back. So I'm just going to put that out the way, put them out the way for later. I've got some cheesecloth and what I'm thinking of doing is kind of draping it around. Ooh, hold on. God, it's a big piece, isn't it? Kind of draping it around the bottle and then have the um, the shells nestling it, nestling in it. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got a frog in my throat. So yes, yeah, so that's that's my plan anyway. So first off, I'm going to just stipple it on. I'm going to use my stippling brush, and I'm just going to um, work my way around. And uh, I just thought, with it being August, it'll be nice, nice and summery. So as you can see. So I'll just work my way round and while I do this I'll uh, fast forward and play some music. So that is that done. So what I'm going to do is um, get my heat gun and give it a quick blast. Okay, so that's that done. And I've really done that as a base. 
right so what I want to do next is um, I want to put some structure paste on it and if I can find my little spatula why is it that when you're looking for something you can never find it oh there it is I hope that's yeah there it is so um, no I didn't want that I wanted the bigger one um, Oh, there it is. That's it. Okay. There we go. So I've got my... And I'm just going to... Pop it on. hard piss bits on this isn't this isn't good let me see I think I'm gonna to have to get my hands dirty for this one so what I want to do I'm just going to use my hat fingers and spread it all around the jar the glass Okay, so what I've started to do is I've started to arrange the cheesecloth around and uh, it kind of reminds me of, you know, when the fishermen bring their nets in um, and they're just all kind of raveled and, and that. Um, I just position it around the, um, round the bottle. Uh, I've actually soaked it in um, the relief paste which it adds like, as a glue as well an adhesive so um, and it will go it's actually gone all the way around so I'm quite pleased so I'm able to get some texture with it uh, and what I will do then once it's down I will actually go over it again and um, painting some of the uh, paint kind of adding the glue to it so I know that it will stick um, adding you know lots of uh, texture and and stuff like that because I want to add some um, arty stones on it. So there we go. So if I just lift it up so it kind of starts there and it works its way around. I know you can't see it very clearly because obviously it's white. So what I need to do now is I need to get a brush. What I want to do is I'm going to... Um, kind of paint this on and you know, kind of just make sure it's um, adhered and that brush is no good it's rock hard I've got a nice softy one yeah I've got a nice softy one now that was clever was it that's better and I'm just going to add the uh, relief paste oh well 
want it away. I don't want it sticking straight onto the... I don't want it flat kind of thing. See what I'm doing? Pulling it up like that. And it's got a place then for the... Um, and then round here. I'm just... Adding, adding texture. So I'm finished with that. So now I can just tease the. That's the word I'm looking for. Tease the the cheesecloth out. It's mainly at the top that I'm, I'm, I want to concentrate on, so it's kind of, and I hope you can see that. Can you see all the different texture? Um, I've, I've kind of made it come out. So now what I want to do, I need a tub, and I need to um, add some texture paste, a big dollop. I've added a big dollop there. What I'm going to do is I'm using the artsy stones. Just pressing them down. And I'm just going to work my way round. on and uh, what I'm going to do now is leave that and let that dry uh, I, while I'm letting that dry what I just want to go through with you what I've done what I'm going to be doing um, I notice the top of the has um, glue back in we really taste right what I'm going to do is the top has said uh, some of the white has come off so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint that then I'm going to go down have a cup of coffee by that time because it's quite warm and that should dry and then I'll start adding um, the other bits to it and the seashells, not the other bits, the seashells, but I want to just paint that first. Give it a bit of a stipple. Let me dry this in the brush. Tiny shells that I plan to put on the top of the uh, the of the, uh, the the decanter. So I'm just making sure that I've got everything. Oh, 
there we go so I'm going to leave that I'm not going to touch it because now my my local um, thing here and what I'm going to use to cover it I have got um, once I've got the shells on I've got starlight sand but I'm going to put rusty patina at the bottom so it's like sand and then at the top up here I'm going to merge the two and I'm going to use Mediterranean Sky at the top up here. The top of the, um, I don't want to touch it obviously, but so at the top from here to about here I'm going to do the Mediterranean Blue and then up um, I'm going to first give it a coat of the Rusty Patina and then I'm going to kind of dry brush over with the sand, the uh, Starlight. So, um, um, and I've kind of got all the, get all my shells sorted. So it's just going to be a, a seashell. Some of seashell. I might put one um one metal embellishment but i've got plenty of seashells here which should do it so um i'm going to go and have my coffee and then uh, when i come back we'll uh, we'll finish the uh, the jar off the decanter i'm just um so i'll see you in half hour <laughs> Okay, so it's all dry now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this upside down and I'm going to start stippling the rusty patina um, all around. Recording. Yes. Sorry about that, that's husband, hub, hubby asking if I'm recording. I like this rusty patina because it's um, it's got texture to it, even even using the um, the thing. So I'm just going to uh, continue doing this, and while I do this, I'm going to play some music and. Um, Fast forward. As you can see I'm not sure if you can see the difference so I've kind of brought it up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to now I'm going to stipple some of the blue on the other areas and then just uh, leave it to dry So the area is kind of like that and it'll blend in. It's 
a nice um I was thinking maybe just paint it but I thought no I want to I want the I want the texture with the stippling as well so I'm just going to try not to um, just gonna have to move it round and then what I'll go do is I I go over it with the heat gun. I quite like this blue. Nice um Mediterranean blue colour. I think I'm going to need some more, but hey ho, I don't want to lift it like that. Let's see if I can lift it like that. There we go. I just see I, if I kind of making sure I've got it all and then I just want to do the lip and I think that's the colouring painting done just go over it oops just want to go over it one more time So kind of merges. Can you see what I'm? I was saying before. So I need to use this brush. Have the both brushes going at the same time, so I can kind of um, add that on as well. Just giving it one more coat and, and kind of blending the colours in together so it's kind of like not stark. Good job, that's ampidextrous, isn't it? So it's like a meeting of the colours. with how that's turned out. I will lift it up and show you. So kind of they all blend together so I've kind of got dark darker up here and then it goes paler as it meets the, the sand and the um, that's what I'm trying to do. Get it in the dark, dark. There we go. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually I'm going to actually um, go round with the heat gun. I'm just going to pop that to one side, clean up here and then uh, I've already plugged in my um, my glue gun. I'm just going to Oh. 
sometimes the best way to get the dried paint off is using your spatula. I should be there all day trying to get it off. Right, that's that done. I'm going to have white balls all over me, um, all over my craft room floor, I think. Well, I think I've nothing wrong with that. Okay. And this is just a board of MDI with um, a craft mat added onto it. And I've had this for years. I got this off soon. So when I was with um, Sparkle Me, when I did the spot, and I worked for her years ago. Right, okay. So, less of me waffling. I'm going to take that ring off. If it comes off, no, it won't come off. Right, the next thing I want to do is I've got I've got three different kinds of shells. So I've got those which I plan to kind of put to the top. I've got the bigger ones where I'm just going to place around and I don't want all of them. So I'm thinking maybe let's see if I've got some different ones. I've only got one of them. So I want kind of different styles. I'm not going to paint these, I want these in their natural and I want to kind of tuck them in onto the um, and I've got a couple of these and that's what I'm going to do and then I've got I found these starfish and I'm going to place them around as well so uh, I think we'll have three of the larger ones. Three of the large ones, four of them, and then these are going to go around the top and then I'm going to position these around as well. So I'm just going to, um, hopefully my glue gun is hot. Yeah, it's hot. So make a start on just getting these placed on the lip of the um, the jar. And show you. So I've got the shells going round. All that's left for me to do is I want to dry brush and I'm only going to do it very lightly with the sand. Just 
just going over very gently over the um, the shells on the lip. I'll work my way round. don't want it in your face I want it kind of like so it's there some places it will be because sometimes I'm a bit heavy handed just so it gives a little bit of a sparkle because in the sunlight the um, sand does sparkle doesn't it it just highlights the um, the textures that I've got going on and the shells I'm trying to use the flat of my brush and I want you to see the textures as with all my my fil my videos I will do a close up um, video of of the finished. seaside bottle I'm going to call this sea cell sea shells and sta and sand It's looking quite good. I'm quite pleased with how it's turned out actually. I'm trying not to add any of the gold to the blue because I, I don't want it on the blue. I just want it on sand I mean. I just want it on the... Some places I've, I've hit it but that's fine. And I think... I think I'm kind of done. Just gonna make go round making sure I've not missed anywhere. brings the shells to life as well. I'm really really pleased with how this turned out. I think I might just do a light Covering with the over the blue, just a very light one. There we are. So I can say that that's complete now. I will do, as I said, a proper. Video and I'm just going to go give it a whack to get rid of any of the excess um, strings from the glue. So, everyone, that is done. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed making it. I will just take it off here and move this out the way. And I'll lift it to the side and then you can see. So that is my sea and sand altered bottle. 
I hope you've enjoyed watching and I hope it's give you ideas on um, how to use it. I do believe you can get the cheesecloth that I've used from Home and Bargains and my friend Kath managed to get me some so um, I was really grateful for to her. Um, all that's left for me to say is please like, share and um, comment. Um, you could be in with a chance of winning uh, a random act of kindness which I do once a month and um, happy crafting everybody until next time bye bye for now